I was right. Well, at least I think. And I was a little bit wrong, but let's get into it. PlayStation back down. In a tweet from the official PlayStation Twitter account, they say, Helldivers fans, we've heard your feedback on the Helldivers 2 account linking update. The May 6th update, which would have required Steam and PlayStation Network account linking for new players and for current players beginning May 30th, will not be moving forward. We're still learning what is best for PC gamers. Players, sorry. And your feedback has been invaluable. Thanks again for your continued support of Helldivers 2, and we'll keep you updated on future plans. What was I right about? I talked about it in my last two videos on this Helldivers situation. I think the massive angle people were not paying attention to in regards to all of this was that I think the reason PlayStation was requiring the account linking to begin with was because they want to firmly establish themselves in the PC market. They are leaning more and more into PC gaming. And with Ghost of Tsushima's PC port that is upcoming, and soon, they are also launching a new overlay for their PC games, starting with Ghost of Tsushima, for online play, which will show you your PlayStation Network account, your profile, and your friends list, and your trophies, so that you can gain that kind of stuff and manage that stuff while playing PlayStation PC games. My assumption was that they were going to add this to Helldivers 2 because, duh, it's their biggest multiplayer game right now, and it's on Steam. Steam and it's on PC doing massive numbers. I think where Sony misstepped here is that they did not understand the differences between the console player base and the PC player base. Because I will say this right now, I think Sony backing down here was good. I was wrong because I didn't think they would actually do it. I thought Sony would stick to their guns and just hope and weather the storm because they were stubborn. But this to me backs up that idea that they are trying to get this whole PC situation right. The times are changing and PC PC is a massive market for these consoles that want to sell more games to more players to gain more money. Because at the end of the day, they are businesses. They don't care how they do it, they want more money. Xbox did this a while back, and now I think PlayStation is going in this direction, where they no longer view the PC market as necessarily competition, but an untapped well of players and potential money that they can tap into by simply porting their games and having a bit more investment in PC. I think a lot of the heads of Sony probably didn't think just simply link in a PlayStation account, which is free to establish if you're in the right regions would be that big of a deal. I don't think they expected the backlash to be this big. They now know it can and will be that big though, especially since Helldivers 2 was a massive and now is still a massive success for them. The PC market is not like the console market more often than not, because especially on a platform like Steam, Steam doesn't just make it easy for the consumer to voice their opinion, they push it in your face with the review scores and the reviews being right up front and central so that new customers or potential buyers will see that response and wonder what's going on, or they'll just take it at face value. It may sound simple, but I genuinely believe that it gives the console- that gives PC players far more power than people initially thought. And I think PlayStation is learning that right now, especially when you combine that with Steam's refund policy, which can be flexible when they want it to be. You combine that with whoever's necessarily at fault, whether it's Arrowhead or Sony, specifically, in regards to selling the game to regions where PlayStation Network is not established or authorized, letting people have access and buy these games to only take and revoke that access away when PlayStation Network account linking would have been required. It's a confluence of circumstance and situations coming together to really add kindling to the fire here. I don't think we'll see PlayStation make this mistake again, because I think the backlash would just happen again. I don't see PlayStation backing down from trying to integrate PlayStation Network on PC. I don't see them backing down
down from this endeavor, I just think they'll shift their strategy. The popular assessment has been that PlayStation should just incentivize people to swap on over or to link their PlayStation Network account by giving maybe a cool cosmetic in-game or whatever. Allow it to exist as an option, bring in that new overlay to give additional functionality for people, especially trophies, which will be a draw for some people. Not a lot, but for some people it will be. You lean into crossplay, lean into the idea that if my friend is on a PlayStation but I'm on PC, we can still play seamlessly. Seamlessly. You lean into that aspect to it. Don't try and make it an annoyance, but incentivize it instead. I think that is the simple nuance here that PlayStation has or I will have to learn. Because I don't think PlayStation is going to back down from its push to PC. Because I don't think Sony necessarily views the PC platform as jeopardizing its potential bottom line or viewing it as competition. Because a lot of people on PC aren't simply going to buy a PlayStation for one or two game exclusives. They're not going to do that when they already have a PC. See, some will, not a lot though, in my opinion. So do you want to just potentially limit that entire avenue, that veritable wellspring of potential money you can take in because you can market and sell to now without a loss leader, by the way. This is an important distinction. Normally, when you sell a console, you sell it at a loss so that you can make your money back up on the back end because people are already in your ecosystem. They'll pay, they'll pay for your subscriptions or buy digital games or buy physical games or whatever, and you'll make Make more profit on the back end through that. If the potential losses in console sales are minimized and they ran this calculus in the back and they said, okay, if we lean more into PC, that doesn't necessarily mean we'll sell less consoles as a result or to a meaningful degree. So we can get people into the PlayStation ecosystem and sell them our games, which we'll make profit off of, assuming that's the case. Remember, Steam takes a cut and you won't have the need for a loss leader to begin with. The times are changing. And when you listen to the people who have either been in charge of PlayStation and Xbox or are currently in charge of it, the console market is stagnating. It had a boom last couple of years because of the whole pandemic, but now it's largely stagnating and not growing. How do you make more money? Appeal to a new audience. It's extremely simple. I think that's what Sony is trying to do here. They made a massive misstep and a miscalculation in regards to Helldivers 2. I don't think anyone can deny that at this point. Especially for a game that was all about uniting people around a singular goal to achieve. You combine that with the PC market, allowing the consumer to voice their opinion and for that opinion to be heard. A lot of the same BS that is commonplace and normalized in the console market is not exactly accepted on PC. I'm really glad this pushback happened because all these games requiring different accounts or account linking to Steam and all that is frustrating and annoying, especially when I already have a Steam account that is all I should ever need. If you want to incentivize me to link my PlayStation account, sure, incentivize me, don't force it, it's annoying. It's an example that bi bad business practices aren't necessarily limited to a price point. I'm hoping that all the regions that were affected by by the forced P PSN account linking and we're now or were locked out of playing the game or buying the game. I hope that gets remedied if it's not already so that those people can play the game. I imagine it will be because duh, it's, it's potential money. I doubt Sony wants to go up against like the EU or just on a more basic level. I doubt Sony wants to lose out on all that money. That's just business 101. Why would you throw money away? So yeah, I think this is a good, a good change. I'm pleasantly surprised that PlayStation backed down from this position and is no longer requiring PlayStation Network account linking for new players and for current players. We're going to always debate the minutia and the potential ramifications going into the future, but I think this is Sony learning or having that moment where they need to learn the distinctions between the console market and the PC market because they are not one for one. PC market, in my experience, in my opinion, tends to be far more vocal about consumer practices than the console market and they tend to be far more effective in getting that out outreach out there. So yeah, win for PC gamers, a win for gamers in my opinion. I hope Sony learns from this. I don't see them backing down from the PC market because I think they now view it or at least want to continue testing the market for just to see how much money they can make from it. What I've said before in regards to PlayStation doubling down on PC still applies in my opinion. I think we'll see more games, not necessarily all of them, but I think 
every now and then they'll test the waters with another day one port to PC. I think eventually this could all lead to a PlayStation launcher on PC, because I can't imagine Sony would be too thrilled with the Steam cut all the time. I think the overlay they're bringing with Ghost of Tsushima is step one of that, to test the waters, see how it works, how it functions, and how people are receptive to it, so they can lay the groundwork in the future for a PlayStation launcher, so they don't have to go through all the growing pains of doing everything all at once. I think that's their overall direction and, I, and goal. It'll be interesting to see what happens in the future. But again, in the moment, thumbs up for me. This is a win. Thank you all for tuning in. My pleasure for making the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and helps support future content, and I greatly appreciate it. I changed my negative review on Helldivers 2 on Steam to a positive one. I would remind a lot of people that if you left a negative review in regard to this whole PlayStation Network account linking to swap it to positive one, because that policy is no longer applicable. That's my suggestion. Do what you will, though. Thank you all for tuning in. Stay safe. Have a great day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Until we meet again.